Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design, I'm Dej and today we're gonna talk about Photoshop's history panel. If this sounds like the most boring topic ever, that's because it is. But am I gonna make it more interesting? No. The history panel in Photoshop allows you to travel back in time. You can revisit old states and dwell on how simple life was back then. To open the history panel, go to Window, History. I'm sure you already knew that, but I had to mention it anyway. I'm gonna activate the brush tool and then start painting random strokes on the canvas. And notice how each time I create a new stroke, a new state appears here in the history panel. If I create a new layer, a new state appears. If I delete this layer, a new state appears. If I turn off the laptop, everything disappears. Now you can go to Edit Preferences on Windows or Photoshop Preferences on a Mac and then choose Performance and increase or decrease this value to control the maximum number of history states that get recorded. I'm gonna set it to 100 for now and click OK. Now to go back in time, you can simply press Ctrl or Command Z. And each time you do that, notice how you're moving upwards in the history states. To move forward or downwards, press Ctrl or Command Shift Z. You can also click on a specific state to go back to it instantly. And you can click on this first state here to go back to the original unedited document. Let's activate this state for now. And notice how the states below are grayed out. That's because they're deactivated. And that also means that if I do something right now, like create a new layer for example, I'd lose all these grayed out states. I can't go back to them anymore. If you want to be able to return to a specific state later on, you should first activate it and then click here to create a new snapshot. The snapshot is saved right here and no matter what you do now, you can always get back to it anytime. The only way you can lose the snapshot is if you stupidly close the file or if you turn off the laptop. Finally, if you click here to open the history panels menu and then choose history options, you can play with these settings to change how the panel behaves. For example, if you click allow nonlinear history and then do a bunch of things, add some layers, and then go back in time, the states below will not be grayed out. So even if I do more things now, these past states will still be saved here. So go ahead and use Photoshop's history panel and enjoy time traveling. Hello and welcome to Tumen. What is happening?